o'clock game and the New York Jets have won the total. It actually came down to a three-way tie between the Bills and Jets, the Chiefs and Bengals, and the Raiders and Broncos. I broke the tie by picking the Bills and Jets as the Bills are my favorite team and it's Jim Kelly's first ever start. In the original game, the Jets won 28-24. Kelly did throw a two-yard touchdown pass to Greg Bell. Al Toon would catch a 46-yarder from Ken O'Brien. In the fourth, Andre Reid caught a 55-yarder from Jim Kelly. Kelly would throw his third later on with a four-yard pass from Jim to Pete Messlars. But that was too little too late as Ken O'Brien hit Wesley Walker earlier in the fourth to take a 28-17 lead. Kelly's pass to Messlars made a 28-24 final. Rich Stadium in Orchard Park, New York, as the Buffalo Bills with rookie quarterback Jim Kelly coming out of the USFL make his debut to go against Ken O'Brien and the New York Jets. It's the NFL on EA Sports. Two AFC East teams about to collide. We battle for an AFC East early season matchup. The Jets and the Bills. Jets looking to get back to the playoffs. The Bills with their new signal caller. Uh, University of Miami. Kelly had spurned the Bills when they drafted him for the Houston Gamblers of the USFL. However, with the USFL folding, Kelly is now in Buffalo and he says he's happy to be here. We are ready for the kickoff as Pat Leahy, the 35-year-old out of St. Louis University, will kick off for the Jets. Back deep is Ronnie Harmon, the all-purpose back at the University of Iowa in his rookie season. <clears throat> also back deep with him, Ricky Moore, another rookie out of Alabama. Hank Bulla, the head coach of the New York Jets, or sorry, Head coach of the Buffalo Bills expects big things out of this team led by Jim Kelly. This is Harmon. He's up to the 28 before being tackled. Looking at the earlier scores, it was the St. Louis Cardinals knocking off Los Angeles Rams in a field goal battle 9-6. Here comes Jim Kelly coming out to lead the, to lead the Bills. This is the Washington Redskins over the Philadelphia Eagles, 41-14. Defending Super Bowl champion Chicago Bears beat the Cleveland Browns, 41-31. Joe Montana's back with the 49ers, leading them out to a 31-7 win over Steve DeBerg and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Atlanta Falcons knocked off the New Orleans Saints, 31-10. It was the Detroit Lions, 13, Minnesota, 10. And Houston beat Green Bay 31 to 3. And we are underway from the 29. Kelly under center. He's got Rob Riddick in the backfield. Sends a push roll in motion. He's going to give it to Riddick. Riddick busts free and he's going to pick up about 8 yards before being tackled by number 39, Harry Hamilton, the second year man out of Penn State. Riddick had a huge hole that was opened up by the Bills' offensive line. And was able to pick up. Eight yards. So it'll be second down and two from the 36. The Bills come to the line. Of course, plenty of pink on the field today and in the stands as all of October. From the 36 yard line, Where Kelly in the shotgun. The he brings Andre Reed in motion. Back to pass. Throws and it is going to be dropped. It was intended for number 80. And with this starting unit, as usual, it's the Jets. Looking at the number 80. So often open up the game. Wow. Chris Burkett's a starter. The offense needs two yards Jerry Butler. Third down, following the third down and two. Kelly comes up on the center. The He's got one man in the backfield. Sends Chris Burkett in motion. It's going to be handoff on the reverse. And Burkett is going to be blown up. That was a hell of a read there by number 55. Charles Jackson, the eighth year linebacker out of Washington, read the reverse and took it to him. So now John Kidd will come on to punt.
Let's see what he can do here. Games 16. Kurt so Song brings a return out. Stepping onto the field today. return and now Ken O'Brien. The second year back at a UC Davis with all of his talent and becomes <clears> one of those guys by way of Sacramento say, State. Hey, the game is going to hinge on him. I think he's very close to that. He's got Freeman McNeil in the backfield with him. Wesley Walker and Al Toon, the tight ends. Mickey Schuler are, are the receivers. Mickey Schuler is the tight end. The Jets come They're going to gonna send out a... They've got four receivers to the left. O'Brien is shotgun by himself. He's going to throw. It is knocked up in the air and knocked away as... Steve Freeman was on the coverage. Joe Fields leads the Jets to the center. You can't. You gotta take a look at Tony Page, the fullback for the Jets, as he is going to be key in blocking. Steve Freeman, the 11th year man out of Mississippi State, been with the originally New England Patriots. O'Brien back to pass, guns it, and it is incomplete. Fred Smurless putting on the pressure. He is the defensive tackle with Bruce Smith at one end. Daryl Talley leads the linebacking core. And Steve Freeman, who we've already discussed, is the free safety with Martin Bayless at the strong safety. It brings up a third and ten now from the 30. Sets two straight incompletions. Back to pass is O'Brien. The Bills are not getting any rush on this. O'Brien's got time to throw. It is caught for 23 yards to the tight end. Mickey out or the wide receiver Al Toon over the blitz, middle. You got to get to the quarterback and at least hit him. Good job by the offensive line. The QB has time and throws the football down the field for completion. Martin Bayless was on the coverage, but Al Toon was able to grab the ball and come down with it for the first down. That was a look at down as New York head Jets head coach Joe Walton. Let's see how they back Hank Bulla the on the sideline for the Buffalo Bills. O'Brien is going to give it to Freeman McNeil. McNeil busts it out to the left. Right the and Martin two. Bayless is going to come up and make the tackle. Assisted Good by Steve Freeman. Martin Bayless, the second year man out of Bowling Green. As we get a score update after this play. O'Brien back to pass. Throws it out in the flat. It is going to be caught by McNeil. And Bayless is going to push him out of bounds. We got a scoreless game in the Kingdom as the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Seattle Seahawks. Nearing the end of the one. Nobody's able to cross the goal. What they can do in the open field. Nice run by the running back. Meanwhile, down at Jack Murphy Stadium in San Diego, Gary Anderson catches an 18-yard pass from Dan Fouts. Later in the quarter, Tim Spencer, a 17-yard run. Bernerska adds a field goal and it's 17-0 Chargers against the Miami Dolphins. Ken O'Brien back to pass. He's got some time. Throws it to the end zone. It is going to be knocked away. <clears throat> knocked away by Rodney Bellinger. Another Miami Hurricane. They were looking for Wesley Walker. Freeman was coming across. Make sure you stay with us for Monday Night Football tomorrow night as the New York Giants battle the Dallas Cowboys to open up to finish off week one it'll be second and ten from the 28 O'Brien in the shotgun he's going to give to Freeman McNeil nope that is number 34 on the carry Johnny Hector the third year man out of Texas A&M and he picks up 10 yards in a first down what a good job <laughs> <clears throat> that time. He reads the blocks very well and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's that's nice. 
to the Jets now inside the 20. The It'll be first and 10 the from the 18. For the seventh play of the drive. The Bills with a nickel look here on defense. O'Brien once again in the shotgun. Back to, the Back to pass. Can throw out into the flat. It. Michael Harper on the reception. He picks up seven yards. Hank Polo. So they complete that one, yet it's still second down. O'Brien in the shotgun. There's a handoff to Freeman McNeil. He's going to be close to getting the first down. Ray Bentley on the tackle. As we take a look at the replay, Bentley blows past the blocker, gets the tackle, but not before McNeil can get the first down. It is now first and goal at the eight. O'Brien coming up under center. The give is going to be to Freeman McNeil, and he is going to be met by Martin Bayless. Going to pick up three yards. It'll be second and goal from the five. Marching down the field and taking their time. Second and goal from the five. O'Brien back to pass. Going to throw into the end zone. Touchdown to Mickey Schuler. And that is his first receiving TD of the year. The first Jet score. It is 6 0 as O'Brien finds Schuler. As we get near the end of the opening quarter, they grab the lead with that touchdown. Yeah, things have been rough so far, haven't they? It's been fun to watch. Each team is being very competitive and physical, but that's a nice. Meanwhile, in Foxborough, Sullivan Stadium, Tony Franklin has kicked a 38 yard field goal, and then defending AFC champion New York Patriots take a 3 0 lead on the Colts. Pat Leahy's extra point is good, and the Jets lead 7 0. The Jets were very effective on that score. Scoring drive, especially via the pass. Over 50 passing yards on that scoring drive. Pat Leahy tees it up. Real quick, a game break from Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Daron Cherry recovers a blocked punt in the end zone. Nick Lowry hits his point, and the Chiefs lead the Bengals 7 0. The Bills are ready to return the kickoff. It's going to be taken by Ron Pitts. And he's going to get out to about the 26. The son of Elijah Pitts, the man who scored the first touchdown in the Super Bowl. Ron Pitts. Has to love the way his team has started this game, Phil. Does he ever? He loves the way his team is playing. He, weighs, he loves the way this game is going. He's oh, I'm sorry. My bad. That was Don Kern on the return, the second year player out of Arizona State. Well, Jim Kelly's first drive was not very successful after a Rob Riddick run that picked up a first down. Kelly then fired incomplete. Chris Burkett was stuffed on a reverse. <clears throat> and the Bills had to punt. Kelly's under center now. First down at the 27. Fakes the pass. Going to hand off to Riddick. Riddick breaks the tackle and he's going to lunge forward to the 30. He's going to pick up about two. Looking at Joe Klecko leading the Jets up the middle. Linebackers. Lance Mel, Kyle Clifton. And you got guys like Lester Lyles and Harry Hamilton patrolling the secondary. After the two yard carry, it sets the up. Two yard pickup, down second down and eight. The rookie, Kelly. The, the old rookie. Bunch formation. The run it off the top. 26 years old. Hands off to Rob Riddick, and he is going to lose. And that is the end of the first. It looked like Riddick lost the yard. They're going to give him a yard, however. And after one, the New York Jets lead the Buffalo Bills 7 0.
Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza. Papa John's. In the second quarter at Mile High Stadium, a wild one is going on as Chris Barr just kicks a 43-yard field goal to extend the Raider lead to 19-7. That game includes a safety as Greg Townsend sacks John Elway in the end zone. Marcus Allen has gone 24 yards in a pass reception, and the Raiders are hammering the Broncos early on. It'll be third down. Third down and seven. The Kelly in the shotgun. Ronnie Harmon in the backfield with him. He's going to fake the hand off to Harmon. Kelly's going to try to escape the rush. And there's going to be a penalty down. Charles Jackson catches Kelly from behind. The Bills are going to be called for holding. Kent hold the center. And the penalty will be declined and the Bills will have to punt on fourth and five. Hank Bulla not too happy with that call. John Kidd is now. in the punt. Second year punter out of Northwestern. 25 years of age. Gets the punt off. It's a high kick. He's gonna try and, return this punt. and there's not much on the return. The Number 87, the Kurt Sohn. On the last drive. Well, they're hoping for better results. No question about that, Jim. They got to come out. They got to hustle. There was not enough hustle last time. Bruce Smith trying to lead that Bills defense out. With the veteran Fred play. Smurless next to him. There, Smith, the number one overall play. draft pick in the 1985 draft out of the University of Virginia Tech. Jets line up. Been a tight first half. The scores seven to zero. <clears throat> the Jets line up. Ken O'Brien is in a pistol offense. formation. First down at the 24. He's going to hand it off to he Freeman McNeil. Right in the end, it picks up only a yard. Good coaching on the Eugene Marv runs in from, home, makes a tackle again. after a two-yard pickup by McNeil. This Jets time O'Brien's going to be in the shotgun, second and eight. He'll take the snap from Back the to pass. Makes Throws it is caught by Schuler, who caught the touchdown. Marv once again on the tackle. And it'll bring up a third down in inches. Third down in inches. They're just going to go with their heavy duty road grader down. offense. A look at Steve Freeman, the free safety. O'Brien under center. The fans are going wild here at Rich Stadium in Orchard Park. There's the handoff to McNeil. And Brute. No, that is, check that as number 76, Fred Smurless. Fred Smurless, the seventh year man out of Boston College. Nice through and tackles Freeman McNeil for a loss. And that'll bring up a fourth down and the Jets will have to punt. As Pat Ryan comes on to punt it away. The Bills are looking like they're going to rush this to try to block it. No. Oh. Not much of a return, but when you're all out rushing, there's not much you can do. As Ron Pitts runs straight into a blocker. Uh, another look at that Raider Bronco game. John Elway is just connected to Steve Sewell on a 23 yard pass. Rich Carlos hits the extra point, and it is now 19 14 Raiders. We'll try and keep you updated on that wild game going on at Mile High Stadium in Denver. As well as all the other action. Wild one also going on in San Diego. As Mark Clayton just caught a 22 yard pass from Dan Reno to cut the charge lead to seven. He's going to hand it off to Rob Riddick. Riddick is going to nice through and looks like he's got a first down. That's his fourth carry for 19 yards. Second down and one. He only got nine yards on that one. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it, 
and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The score is tied, and Seattle has been broken as Daryl Turner catches a four-yard pass from Dave Craig. The extra points missed, and Seahawks lead 6-0. Kelly under center. He's going to give it on the counter to Riddick. Riddick's got the first down, and he picks up a few extra yards before being tackled by Harry Hamilton. Riddick followed the block of number 42, Ricky Moore. He's able to pick up the first down. From the 34, Kelly brings the Bills up. Under center. Got it. Moore and Riddick behind him. And it's going to be a play action pass. Because he's got all kinds of time throwing deep. And it's going to be. It is caught by Andre Reed. Oh, I thought it was going to be intercepted. It looked at first like number 25. It was basically a jump ball there. Or sorry, 26 Lester Lyles was coming down with it. Lee rips it right away from him. In fact, Lyles did catch the ball at first. But then Reed grabs it and steals it right away for the first down. Kelly now coming up out from center. Brings the handoff to Riddick. He's going to be met by a wall of jet defenders, and that'll bring up the two minute warning. Let's go with an update from Sullivan Stadium in Foxborough. Late in the second quarter, Dean Biasucci kicks a 25 yard field goal against Colts on the board as New England now leads 10 3 thanks to a Craig James rush early in the second quarter. The defending AFC champion, New England, trying to hold on against the Colts. For the 23, second down and six. Kelly's going to be in the shotgun. He's got Reddick next to him to his right. He's got three receivers to the left. Andre second Reed down six. on the bottom of your screen. Kelly's going to throw toward the end zone, and it is a touchdown. Pete Metzlars. The big tight end out of the University of Wabash is able to get into the end zone. And now they're an extra point away from tying the game. <clears throat> Joe Walton on the sideline not looking too happy. Scott Norwood lines up to kick the extra point. Frank Reich will put down the hold. The kick is up and it is good. The game is tied at seven. Looking in real quick at Riverfront Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Chris Collinsworth catches a 15-yard pass from Boomer Esaias, and Jim Breach kicks a point, and the Bengals and Chiefs are tied at seven. Norwood. Going to send it away. The Jets are ready to return Back the deep kick. is Bobby Humphrey. There's the kick from Norwood. They're setting up the return. This is going to be Humphrey. He's past the 20. Out to the 28 yard line. Bobby Humphrey, the second year man out of New Mexico State. The Jets weren't able to get anything and O'Brien coming back out now with a game tied at seven. Do you think they are going to bury their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of information out there in that short drive, Jim. And you do that by showing different formations and plays. You saw how the defense reacted to it. Now you counter-react and see if you can get some positive play. I'm sure they're tired of being in the three and out business. No, that's a bad business to be in. I know. I get in a lot of bad businesses. The Jets will well, Brian possibly calling a series of plays. Maybe trying to extra special to coverage to keep Bruce Smith off of him, who has not had a sack yet today. O'Brien in the shotgun by himself. Throws over the middle. Almost intercepted. Ken O'Brien so far is 5 of 9 on the day. 58 yards and a touchdown pass to Mickey Schuler. 
Eugene Marv was the closest Buffalo Bill, but there was not a jet in the area. That'll bring up a second down and ten. The Bills coming off a 2 and 14 season in 1985. Looking to rebuild. They finally got their quarterback. O'Brien, and he is going to be hit. He is sacked. Let's see which one it was. If we get a uh, Lu Lucius Sanford, perhaps. Now bring up third and 11. Both teams Down taking their time in the huddle. Gotta make sure they got the right call on. O'Brien under center. Third and 11 from the 27. O'Brien's gonna hand it off to Freeman McNeil. As the Jets are just gonna try and run the clock, but the Bills won't let him. They call a timeout. And that'll bring up a fourth down. O'Brien didn't look too pleased with that play call. The but Joe Walton's been around. That may be a very useful timeout. Now they're ready to go. It'll be fourth and nine after the two-yard pickup by McNeil. Keeping our eye in Denver. Gene Lang runs it up one yard out to cut the Raider lead to 22-21 as they near the half. Pat Ryan gets the kickoff. We'll see what he can do here. He's so he's taken at the 35 and a run back of about nine. Ron Pitts on the return. And now it was Kelly who hit Metzlars on a touchdown. As both teams have one touchdown to their tight end. Kelly in the shotgun. He's got five receivers. Three to the left, two to the bottom of your screen. Kelly's going to throw it out. It is going to be caught by number 80, Jimmy Butler. Jerry Butler. As he picks up six yards. And there's a look at Joe Klecko as he tries to get the Jets fired up. That short pass play. Picked up six. It's now second down. Bills still have one timeout remaining. There's a minute 24 to go before half. Kelly in the shotgun. He's back to pass. Throws it over the middle. Incomplete. Jim Kelly is three for five. 68 yards and a touchdown on the day. Kelly was looking for his running back, Rob Reddick. Gets the start of a Greg Bell today. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. The Jets defense brings in from the shotgun, the third and four. Kelly from the shotgun. back to pass. Throws and almost intercepted. Incomplete. It'll be a three and out. And the Buffalo Bills will have to punt. To Kelly and just overthrew his receiver, and Marty Lyons almost picked it off. Their offense is going. Two simple things. You want to keep the defense. Kyle Clifton the and the Jets the did their zone. job. And now John Kittle will have to punt it away. Look for new ways. Move people around. Give your players a little better chance of making plays down the field. This is a high winding punt. Called for the fair catch. It's gonna bounce into the end zone and it'll be a touchback with a minute eleven left. No, well, usually see punters happy about touchbacks. John Kidd seems to be though. 
last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know Ken O'Brien brings the Jets out after the last drive didn't go nowhere. Looking into that Bills defense. Week 1, 1986. Bills. They say they're not rebuilding, but after 2 and 14, they kind of are. The Bills with a nickel look here on defense. O'Brien in the shotgun. Jets looking to make the playoffs this year. They feel it's time with O'Brien. Here's a pass over the middle, and a horde of Bills come in to make the tackle. Number two for him. The Jets Al Toon catches the pass, and the Jets are going to call for a timeout. After Mark Clayton catches a 49-yard pass from Dan Marino to cut the charter lead to 23-14, Rolf Benerski right before half hits a 36-yard field goal, and the San Diego Chargers lead the Miami Dolphins 26-14 at Jack Murphy Stadium, the site of next year's Super Bowl in San Diego. They've got a first down with just first and 10 from the 33. O'Brien in the shotgun. Back to pass. Freeman coming on the safety blitz. O'Brien gets it away and overthrows the intended receiver. Derek Burrows on the coverage. He was looking for Al Toon once again. O'Brien comes out with a bunch of formation to his right. O'Brien calls out the signals. Back to pass. The rush is on. And he finds his man over the middle. And the Jets are going to call a timeout. That looked like Al Toon once again. Trying to break this tie before half. The Jets have one timeout remaining. O'Brien in the pistol. Two backs in the back for Woodham. He's back to pass. Steps up, throws. He's going to be caught. Once again, Altoon catches it, and he's down to the 25 yard line. It'll be a first and 10. O'Brien and the Jets. The passing attack has been on go. So moving forward, Phil, they have to like the situation the rest Steve of the way. Steve Freeman on the they coverage. The situation on the offensive side, Jim. The, the coach is over there. He and then Freeman sort of makes the tackle is being pushed aside. It is a first and ten now. <clears throat> the clock winds down to 30 seconds. The Jets have one timeout left. Looking to save it for the field goal. From the shotgun once again. Back to pass to O'Brien. He's going to backtrack. He throws. Out of bounds. O'Brien now 8 of 14 on the day. Looking for his favorite target so far today. Al Toon once again. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. O'Brien from the shotgun. From the gun. Back to pass. Going to throw Wesley Walker. And the Jets go up 13-7. to That changes the mentality of both teams. One now, all psyched up and emotionally feeling great. And the defensive side, oh my gosh, they are down. And Pat Lee, he lines up for the extra point. And there's the kick. Driving extra point is good. And the Jets, with 12 seconds to go in the half, the have taken a 14-7 lead.
Many fans of the Jets wonder when are they going to get back. It has been 18 years since they were in the Super Bowl, and Joe Namath's guarantee. The Bills are ready to return. Meanwhile, this is the 20th, 20, 21st anniversary of the Buffalo Bills' last AFL title. He's got a chance to return. This Both teams one. looking to get back into prominence. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. 24 yards per return for Don Kern. Nine seconds left. What is Jim Kelly and the Bills going to attempt here? Jets Kelly under center. Calls an audible. Going to hand it off to Rob Riddick. Riddick busts free. Gets a first down. And the Bills are going to call timeout now. With two seconds after a nice pickup. Up to the 39. Maybe the Bills are now going to look for a Hail Mary. Test the rookie out. The 26 year old rookie. Three receivers to the right. Kelly in a shotgun. Back to pass. Just rush three. Kelly throw it deep down the field. It's going to be way out of bounds. And that is the half. As the New York Jets lead the Buffalo Bills 14-7. Checking the scores around the league. The Seattle Seahawks lead the Pittsburgh Steelers at the half. 6-0. Down in San Diego. It is the Chargers over the Dolphins 26-14. in Sullivan Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts. The New England Patriots lead the Indianapolis Colts 10-3. The Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead and the Cincinnati Bengals are tied at 7. And in the third, and in that wild game down in Denver, it is the Denver Broncos trailing the Oakland Raiders at the half. 22 to 21. Jets is up now by seven. And here in Orchard Park, the New York Jets lead the Buffalo Bills 14 to 7. Larry, thanks a lot. Second half just about to get underway here as the special teams are about to head back onto the field. The Bills look to be firing up. Odd mix of uh, athletes there going on the field for special teams. Jim Kelly, Daryl Talley. <clears throat> Not exactly sure that's the unit that's going to be out there. Humphrey grabs his helmet. Nope, it's more of a normal look now. Scott Norwood. Kelly was just firing them up. Norwood's going to kick it off. The Jets are ready to return the kick. With this kick, the second half is underway. From the He'll goal line. From the one. Going to get out to the 24. Bobby Humphrey, Shane Conlon in on the tackle. I don't know who Shane Conlon is. George Gumby in on the tackle. At least I looked into a crystal ball and saw the wrong 58. Now, O'Brien's favorite target so far has been Al Toon. But the touchdowns have gone to Mickey Schuler. In the first quarter, and in the second quarter, oh, that's the Bills roster, sorry. It was Wesley Walker. There's a handoff to McNeil. McNeil through the middle. He's going to pick up a first down. 
before being tackled by Martin Bayless. Keep the momentum on your side. You got a lead here in the second half. Nice play that time. You pick up the first down. Let's see if you can take advantage of it. Going to bring up a first and ten now. Little Brian in the shotgun. High snap, gets it down, hands it up to Freeman, and he's going to be met by Bruce Smith. Got to give a lot of credit to the defense. They were all over the run that time, and they only give up a short game. Second down here after that run play. Second down and eight from the 40. O'Brien going to hand it off once again. Neil cutting to the right, and he's going to pick up the first down. That's his ninth rush for 38 yards on the game. Averaging 4.2 of a carry. Jets really got it going now. They got confidence. They got momentum. They got a small lead here in the second half. And that first down, what does it do? Jets trying to establish a drive to sort of break the will of the Buffalo Bills. That's three straight runs now for McNeil. O'Brien from the 50 comes under center. There's the handoff to McNeil once again. Nope, this one's Johnny Hector. And he's going to pick up maybe two yards. You're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Sean McNamee. McNamee in on the tackle. It's now second down. The Bills defense now is going to go nickel. Second and nine. They'll go shotgun here. O'Brien back to pass. <clears throat> going to throw over the flat. And he overthrows his man. Stout coverage by Derek Burrow says Mickey Schuler was the intended target. It'll bring up a third and nine from the Bills' 49-yard line. Drop back, shotgun formation. O'Brien back to pass. The field. Throws. The, sack. the rush was on as number 50 Ray Bentley was coming in. And O'Brien just had to unload it. And that'll bring up a fourth down, and they will punt it away as Pat Ryan will come out of the field. All set to punt here. Ryan goes off the side of his foot a little bit, trying to get in the coffin corner, but it bounces into the end zone. And that's where Jim Kelly... Oh, I keep calling the Pat Ryan is the backup quarterback. I keep calling him the punter. It was Dave Jennings on the punt. My apologies to Pat Ryan and Dave Jennings. It's okay. I learned how to call games from Chris Collinsworth. I apologize. I shouldn't say stuff like that. He's still playing for the Bengals at this time. Kelly. Hands it off to Rob Reddick, and he's going to pick up a couple. Two yards on the game. Eight rushes for 46 yards for Reddick. Let's check in on the game in Denver. Midway through the third period. Marcus Allen is carried in from two yards out to give the Raiders a 29-21 lead. Kelly going to hand it off to Riddick. And he's going to be thrown for a loss. Deep in the backfield is number 55, Charles Jackson. That's his second tackle for loss today. It'll bring up a third down and long. On the way, third down. 
Kelly in the shotgun. Third and 13. Bills trailing the Jets 14 to 7. There's the fake to Ronnie Hyman. He's going to throw over the middle. It is caught by Jerry Butler. And that is going to be a first down for Buffalo. Jerry Butler, the seventh year man out of Clemson, coming up big on the reception. The Bills' first round pick in 1979, Jerry Butler, coming up big. Two minutes left in the third quarter as the Bills have a first and ten from their own 37. Kelly's going to go under center. This play set up by the long gainer. There's Here's the handoff. The hand Riddick is going to get forward for two yards, and that'll bring up a second down and eight. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back. The Jets did not suffer any pushback. Bills offensive line Almost having trouble getting holes opened up. Yard line. Kelly, second down and eight. Going to hand it off once again to Riddick, and once again, this time Joe Klecko leads the charge, and they'll bring up a third and nine as Riddick loses a yard. Riddick runs right into Joe Klecko. Joe Klecko in his ninth season out of Temple. He was a fourth. Sixth round draft pick in 1977 by the Jets. Third and nine now for Kelly. From the 37, Kelly's in the shotgun. He's got two receivers to his right. One down the left. He's back to pass. He's going to throw it deep, and it is going to be overthrown and out of bounds. And as the third quarter is coming to a close, Buffalo's going to punt it back to the Jets. Jerry Butler was the intended receiver. There is not a rule that says you can't get open. You are allowed to separate from defensive backs. They have not done that all day long here. Kid the punt. He'll have a chance for a return. Take him down at the 27. Cone. And a run back. That'll be nine yards per return. As Mark Kelso in on the tackle. And Bruce Smith leads the defense out. Rob Riddick's going on the field with him for some reason. Bills like to send guys on the field that aren't going to play. Surprised they don't get penalties. First and 10 from the 27. O'Brien back to pass. Throws it over the middle. It's going to be incomplete. That'll bring up a second and 10. I was just listening to myself. Okay. Ken O'Brien under center, second and 10. Here's the handoff for McNeil, and he is going to run right into Eugene Marv. And going to pick up a couple yards. Martin Bayless also in on the tackle. Brings up a third and five. 54 yards rushing total for the Jets today between Johnny Hector and Freeman McNeil. And that'll be the end of the third quarter with the New York Jets leading the Buffalo Bills 14 to 7. Quarter here in the suburbs of Buffalo, Orchard Park will return in just in a, a beautiful moment. September afternoon. The Jets are still in possession as we get this final quarter underway. Another update from Denver. Ken Woodard took a fumble 16 yards to cut the Raider lead to 29-28. But then Rod Barksdale catches a 57-yard pass from Mark Wilson, and the Raiders are currently up 36-28 after three. In a
wild one. This is third down. Third. First down as Al Toon comes down with it. And the Jets continue the drive. Looking to get some scoring updates in between plays. Out in Seattle. Steve Largent just catches a 10-yard pass from Dave Craig. The Seahawks have opened up the lead in the fourth quarter. They're now up 23-0 on the Pittsburgh Steelers. <clears throat> O'Brien under center. First and 10 from the 41. Here's the handoff to McNeil. Wide open holes. The Buffalo defense has been worn down at this point, and they are now into Buffalo territory. Down in San Diego. After three, the Chargers have opened up a 40 to 21 lead, and they have the ball again. This next play coming from the 47 yard line. The First and 10 from the Bills 47. O'Brien going to hand it off to Freeman McNeil. And he's going to pick up about six more before Martin Bayless can stop him. From Sullivan Stadium in Foxborough, Tony Franklin hits his second, third field goal of the afternoon from 49 yards. And the Patriots lead the Colts 23 to 3. After running it, it's second down. Second down and four for the Jets from the 41. O'Brien going to hand it off once again. And this time, number 58, George Cumby is in to make the stop on Johnny Hector. Here's a look at Fred Smurlis. From third down and five. O'Brien in the shotgun. He's back to pass. Throws it. It is almost intercepted. Ray Bentley on the coverage. Ray Bentley, the rookie out of Central Michigan, is able to get his hand up and knock the ball away as they were looking for Mickey Schuler. Pretty good coverage from the linebacker. Brings up a fourth down from the 42 yard line of the Bills. They're set to punt it away now. Jennings to punt. I got the punter's name right this time. Gets the ball off. And, the punt and it'll go out of bounds out of at the 24 yard line. Not a good punt at all. Well, Rob Riddick so far has 42 yards rushing on 11 carries. I think the running back is starting to tire a little bit as you watch him run. Just doesn't look as determined as he was early in the game. Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Chris Collinsworth catches a 28-yard pass from Boomer Esiason to cut the Chiefs' lead to 21-14 in the fourth quarter. Come to the line. Still a very close game here in the fourth quarter. The scores 14 to 7. The Bills take it from the 23. Kelly back to pass. Surveys. He's got time. He's going to run out of the pocket. He's going to try and throw on the run, and he is hit and dropped. And Bennett on the sack. Barry Bennett. Every defense is looking for somebody to hit the quarterback, and the best person to do it is the defensive end. The defense got to the quarterback, and the offense is back. That brings up, up a second and 12 down. with 3.08 to go in the game. Kelly in the shotgun from the 21 yard line. Back to pass. Jets try a stunt. Here's a completion out to number 86. Chris Burkett. That's the first time we've heard his name called other than the reverse. It didn't go for much, but that was a nine yard pickup. And it brings up a third down and three. It'll be third down. Time is running out here in the fourth, and the defense. Two and a half to go in the game. Kelly win. in the shotgun. Draw He's going to give it to Rob Riddick on the draw, and Riddick's going to pick up the first down. And there is an injury on the field, as it looks to be the Jet. 
Well, Riddick adds insult to injury and drops the ball on him. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. That could play big in the factor. Be nice to know who it is. We'll head back to the field now. Danielle Bellini is working to get us an update on that. Kyle injury Clifton is now out of the game. We'll try and find out some more on him. When we hear, when we get it. But it's a first down and ten now for the Bills. That Injury helped stop the clock for them, gave them an extra timeout. They still have all three of theirs, plus the two-minute warning. Bill's making sure they get this play right. Here they come to the line from the 37, 63 yards away from the touchdown. They need to, one to tie the game up. Kelly under center back to pass to the throw over the middle and it falls incomplete Andre Reed was the intended receiver pass was a little high second and ten now Kelly in the shotgun back to pass Throws this is a high catch. The crisper catch comes down with it. It's going to bring up a third down. And Burkett's not moving. Oh, there he comes. But he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. Harry Hamilton on the tackle. That's Burkett's second reception on this drive. And we're at the two-minute warning. For those of you waiting for an update from Denver's Mile High Stadium. Rich Carlos has kicked a 51-yard field goal to cut the Raider lead to 36-31. And this just in, Gene Lane catches a 7-yard pass from L.A. The Broncos have taken a 38-36 lead. The time running out in the game. That's the Broncos' first lead since it was 7-0. This game is closing in on a finish, and the defense can make one play and basically... Kill you back to pass. He throws over the middle. It's going to be a first down at Jerry Butler. The Bills running the line of scrimmage now on a two-minute drive. Kelly is 7 of 13. Back to pass from the 44 in jet territory. Throws it once again. It's caught. Jerry still got all three timeouts. Second down in inches. Kelly in the shotgun again. And this time the ball pass is going to fall incomplete. Kelly, Jim Kelly, 9 of 16, 140 yards and a touchdown pass in the second quarter to Pete Messelars. Kelly was looking for Eric Richardson on that pass play. Third down in inches. Kelly in the shotgun. He is back to pass. He's going to throw over the middle and again overthrows his intended target. It's going to bring up a fourth and in inches. <clears throat> and one's got to wonder why the Bills didn't get into the eye formation and hand it off to Riddick and try and pound for the first down. They have all the timeouts. They are staying on the field though for this fourth and in inches. Offset eye. It's a handoff to Rob Riddick. He is going to be met in the backfield and dropped. And that might answer why they didn't run it. As the Jets have held, and Ken O'Brien takes over. The Bills still have all three timeouts, though. If they can hold the Jets from getting a first down, they might get the ball back. There's a minute 10 to go. O'Brien in the pistol. First down at the 22. There's to give to Freeman. And Lucius Sanford is in the backfield to make the tackle. Four seconds pass. The Bills have called timeout. It's second and 13. Sanford came right in on the blitz. Nobody blocked him. It is a final in Denver. The Denver Broncos have defeated the Oakland Raiders 39 36, 38 36, making the comeback. And Denver gets us off to a 1-0 start. San Diego's defeated Miami 
50, what is it, 50 to 28. Seattle blanks Pittsburgh 30 to nothing. New England over Indianapolis 33 to 3. And the Kansas City Chiefs have defeated the Cincinnati Bengals 24-14. We've got a minute six left here in this game. And the Sunday portion of week one will wrap up. O'Brien, hand off to McNeil. He's going to pick up a few yards before being tackled by Beckmanee. And the Bills call timeout. They're going to have one left as we come to a third down eight. Definitely the play of the game for the Bills on defense. If they can stop the Jets here, they'll get the ball back. There's still a minute one to go. Well, I look around at Rich Stadium in Buffalo as the Jets are in the huddle. Third down and eight. Do the Jets try and pass for it to get the first down? Or they try and run it again? O'Brien's going to go back to pass. The throw over the middle. It is overthrown with 57 seconds left. The Jets are going to have to punt. Derek Burrows is on the coverage of Wesley Walker. The Jets are going to call on the punting team. And there's Jennings' punt. He's going to be taken by Ron Pitts. He's going to get out to the 41-yard line. And that's where the Bills will take over. They still have a timeout in their pockets. 48 seconds to go. Um, Martin Bayless going on the field with Jim Kelly. Interesting look. Bills head to the line. They've got one timeout left in the game. From the 41, they are 59, 59 yards away from tying the score. The Kelly is back to pass. He's got all Looking kinds of time. He's throwing it over the middle. He's going to be tackled right around and it is Riddick on the tackle. He picks up five. They rush to the line of scrimmage. They're going to, looks like they're going to clock it. Good job of hurrying up they wasted a lot of time though, 31 seconds to go. And it's a third and five and 46. Good clock management, snap that football. Coming up, third down, a huge moment. Third and five, the Bills have to get Kelly to the in the shotgun. For a first. Dropping back now into back the to shotgun. pass. Throws it deep over the middle and it is overthrown. And it's going to be fourth down. And once again, the Bills are going to have to go for it as Kelly could not connect with Jerry Butler on that pass. They still have a timeout. They need to get the first down with 27 seconds to go. The Jets lined up in the nickel. Out of the shotgun. Kelly back to pass. He's going to throw. It is caught by Butler. And the Bills are going to burn their final timeout with 20 seconds to go. They get a first down now at the 36. We are back live from Orchard Park. The New York Jets lead the Buffalo Bills 14 to 7. The Bills are out of timeouts now with 20 seconds to go. They have a first and 10 at the 36. Jim Kelly, the rookie out of the USFL by way of the Miami Hurricanes. Trying to lead the Bills down for a tying touchdown and overtime. Averaging eight yards per attempt. He is in the shotgun. He's gonna fake the handoff. Throwing it over the middle. It's caught by Jerry Butler. Wide open and he is in for the touchdown. 
there was definitely a breakdown in coverage as Kelly hits Butler for a 36-yard score. And we are now an extra point away from being tied with 14 seconds to go. And the fans here at Audrey Park are going crazy. Jerry Butler come over the middle and there was no deep safety. Harry Hamilton gave chase. Nope, 26. Lester Lyles was the closest one chasing him. I was not sure if he's the one that broke down the coverage or not. And the Jets are going to call timeout. They're going to burn a timeout on the extra point. Make sure the Bills aren't going to try and do some kind of wild fake for a two-point conversion. Norwood. And the extra point is good. And it is 14 off in the drive. Took five plays, went 59 yards. In about 47 seconds. Do you have the courage to try to make the play? Or you just hang in there and hope the other team makes a mistake? We'll find out. Well, this is the stadium sounds Madden 16. It sounds so much better. They have the Bill Seam song, the train in the background. There's no none of that in Madden 18. The Jets are ready to return the kick. Norwood kicks off. Jets have two timeouts. He'll take it. From He's gonna be taken six. from the six. He's gonna come out to and about the, the 25. And with 10 seconds to go, 19 yard return by Ducksworth. Robert Ducksworth. Ten seconds to go. The game is tied at 14. We are 10 seconds away from overtime. Here in week one, a little extra football coming your way. That's what they got to do here. Offensive line, get it going. The Jets coming to the line. This is some line. kind of breakdown in coverage on the Bills. Nope. <clears throat> Ken O'Brien in the shotgun. The he's going to give it off to Freeman McNeil, who's going to run forward. And pick up. And the Jets. Now, why'd they do that? They're calling a timeout now. Second down and two to go after the running play. The Bills sat at the line. Dime package. O'Brien in the shotgun. He's back to pass. He's got all kinds of time. He's going to throw it deep. It's a jump ball, and it is caught. But it's not going to matter because that is the end of regulation. This one is going to the extra session. So here in overtime, the rules change. If you receive the ball first and get a touchdown, the game is over. However, if you New take rules the ball for 1986 drive, in overtime, no longer is it sudden death. It's the first possession ends in a field goal. And if both teams get field goals Everybody gets a chance. Drives, the next team to score from there will win the game. The Bills will win the toss and will receive. Kelly warming up on the sideline. Pat Leahy to tee it up. He's put the ball on the tee and he's about to kick off. He'll on the goal line. To take off. Ronnie Harmon is going to get out past the 20 to the 22, and that's where the Bills will take over for the first and 10. 
the Bills offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. A solid There's always somebody from the other uh, unit going on the field. That was Lucius Sanford that time, the linebacker, went on the field with the Bills offense. So although the stadium sounds better in Madden 16, the animation's not so much. Sorry, I keep breaking character. Just I didn't play Madden 16 when it came out. I just got it with my PlayStation for my birthday that year. I opened it up because of these rosters specifically. Sending Ricky Moore in motion. First Kelly. The Here's the handoff to Rob Riddick. Riddick is going to break free. He's got the first down and... Fancy running there as Riddick now goes over 10, 58 yards. He's averaging five yards after first contact. Rick sprints to the right. With a fancy little spin move getting away from one tackle. Tries it again before being brought down over the first down line. <clears throat> the Bills have 59 total rushing yards. 58 by Riddick. And one other one by Jim Kelly, I think. Take it from the 33. Kelly throws it out to Reed. And he's going to pick up maybe three. Second, two yards on completion, second and eight. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time. There's a little bubble screen. But Reed, once he caught the ball, turned around and was tackled for a gain of two. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down and eight following the completion. Kelly comes line of scrimmage. He's going to pump fake. Gives it off to Riddick. And Riddick is going to get another first down. What a good job by the running back that time. He reads the blocks very well and he picks his way through there and picks up a first down. That's, that's nice. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Get ready. Right back to him once more. Riddick, he's going to be stuffed in the backfield this time. Stuffed for a loss of four. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second and 14 after that loss. Kelly taking his time. 3.42 to go in the game, in the overtime period. Kelly back to pass. He's going to throw over the middle. It is caught by Metzlars. And he's going to be inside jet territory. Down to the 37 for a first down. It'll be a first and ten. Here's the first snap after the big play. Hand off made. And they tackle him. Gonna go the ball to Greg Bell. That's his first carry of the game. And he is gonna be tackled by Crable in the backfield. And that'll bring up a second down and ten. Gonna bring up a third down and one for the Bills. From the 28 right now, it'd be about a 46-yard field goal. Third and short. 
for Norwood. If they don't get any more yards. And we are at the two minute warning. Uh, look over the play. Now both teams come in out of the huddles now. Third down and one, two minutes to go in the overtime period. The Jets have not had the ball. The Bills have graded the clock right down. There is the handoff to Riddick, and he's going to get the first down, and then some. He's inside the 20 to the 17. And that now sets up a potentially 20, 35-yard game-winning field goal if they don't gain another yard. Kelly under center. First and 10 from the 17. The He's going to pitch it out to Riddick. To and and nothing doing there. As Russell Carter is in to make the tackle the for a loss of four, bringing up a second down and 14 now. Richard could not get out and make the block. We're down to a minute 15 to go. Riddick right up the middle. He's going to get an eight-yard run, and the Bills are going to use one of the timeouts, bringing up a third down and six with 56 seconds to go. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. Third down and six. Some. Even money would say the Bills should just line it up in the center for Norwood. Right now it'd be about a 31 yard field goal. What a drive this has been. Kelly in the shotgun. Third down and six. He's going to throw. And in the end zone, almost intercepted. That was almost a disaster for the Bills. As number 39, Harry Hamilton, had his hands on it. So if you're a defender, quarterback, you make a quick break on the football, hey, you get in a position like this, you can knock it down. He might have gone the distance, too, with that. Fourth down and six. Scott Norwood is on to attempt a 30-yard field goal for the win. And the kick is up. And it is good. And the Buffalo Bills have knocked off the New York Jets 17-14 to till goal start the season 1-0. There is the kick as Norwood kicks it right through the uprights. And the Buffalo faithful will go home happy. Okay, for those of you who have been following this 1986 series. Oh yeah, new rules. The game's not over. That's right. We're playing by 2015 rules, not 1986. So the Bills have to kick off. It is not sudden death. The game continues with 47 seconds left. Norwood has to tee up. Norwood's face mask is wrong too. Jets are ready to return the kick. So Norwood runs up to kick off from the goal line. And he'll be tackled by number 58, George Cumbie. While we're at it, I'd like to uh, give a shout out to the creator of these rosters. I teach history 78 for the PlayStation 4. 
not only this roster for Madden 16, he's got rosters for Madden 17 and just released Madden 18, 1987. Someday when we get to that one, the strike season, the strike weeks, and the canceled week, we're going to re-simulate every game and make it right. <clears throat> Without the strike. Jets come out first and ten. They're trailing 17-14 here in this non-sundeath overtime. O'Brien in the shotgun. Here's the fake to Freeman McNeil. Throwing out, and it is out of bounds. It'll be a second down and 10 with 38 seconds to go. No, so Pat Leahy, the target line is a 31 for Leahy to try and kick the field goal to tie the game back up and send both teams home without a win. at Martin Bayless. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. O'Brien well, has time. He throws. It is caught. Al Toon, he twists and turns, and the clock continues to run. It'll be a first and ten in the Bills, 44. Well, the quarterback has such great confidence in the receiver. And why not? He's talented, and every time the Toon has been O'Brien's favorite target all game long. O'Brien back to pass. Gets away from the rush. Throw it over throws the it over the middle. It is incomplete. The Bills had him dead for rights in the backfield, but could not get the sack. And that is the final score as the clock runs out, and the Buffalo Bills have defeated the New York Jets 17 to 14. For those of you following the 1986 series, we'll conclude week one with a Monday night football game, Dallas and New York. This changes history. This just changes the playoff team since the Buffalo Bills lost the game originally to the New York Jets 28-24. As of now, the Jets are a 9-7 team and Kansas City and Cincinnati is now a playoff to either Cincinnati or Seattle, depending on the tiebreaker there, would now be in the playoffs and not the Jets. And the Jets Chiefs had a tremendous playoff game. We'll see if we get the Jets again or not as the season goes on and maybe they can come back and recuperate. Meanwhile, before I sign off, I'd like to remind everyone that the classic uh, Madden season franchise with the 91 Bills and 86 Giants continues on currently playing on the John M channel. The Giants and the Rams are playing for first place home field advantage. So click on, go to the playlist, click on John M. It is 7-7 in the second quarter.